morning, smart glass company View, which is backed by SoftBank, going public through, yep, a SPAC. It's merging with CF Finance Acquisition Corp. 2. It's a special purpose acquisition company. It's sponsored by Cantor Fitzgerald. The enterprise value is approximately $1.6 billion, and the merger is expected to close in the first quarter of 2021. Joining us now to talk about that and so much more is Howard Lutnick. He's the chairman and CEO of Cantor Fitzgerald and, of course, the chairman of Newmark. Good morning to you, Howard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us tell us about this particular transaction, and let's also talk a little bit about what, what feels like a SPAC frenzy and how you're thinking about it. Well, so you tense the glass. So this is called dynamic or smart glass. When the sun hits the building, electrical charge goes into the window, and it turns into tinted like sunglasses. You don't need shades of blinds. It keeps the heat out. It keeps the UVs out. It makes your building about 20% more energy efficient. It's a, it's a green company. So this is a green SPAC fundraise. It's considered a Morningstar rated it, a green SPAC sun, uh, fundraise. And uh, it's really an incredibly exciting product. It makes buildings better for the people on the inside, more efficient. And uh, I think it's going to rock the real estate industry. This is the second SPAC that, that, that you've done in this way, and I know there's probably more to come. Just speak to sort of what's going on in this space. Is this a, is this a frenzy? Is it a fad? How is it going to change over time? Uh, right now, the fee structure is uh, typically in the favor, quote unquote, of the sponsor. At some point, does that change? Does it make it less attractive or, or, or shift who's, who's going to ultimately be, be behind these things? Well, the key to a SPAC, you know, a regular IPO is all about history. You know, you're protecting the uh, investor, and you only can talk about the company's history. A company like View needs to talk about its projections, right? It expects its revenues to grow 150 to 175 percent next year and 100 percent every year for the foreseeable future, right? It gets to talk about its projections. It gets to talk about its margins. You know, its margins are 60 percent margins on this class. So, that kind of company should go public in a SPAC because that way you can put out all its projections and show the investing public, look, this is the kind of company I am. I'm a huge, hot-growing, fast-growing company, and I want you to know how quickly we're growing. Otherwise, in an IPO, uh, you only can talk about you know, what has been, not the future. So I think what you're seeing in the SPAC market is these fast-growing, high-tech companies like you, and, uh, and I think this is a great market for them, and I think you're going to continue seeing it. So it's not really a fad, as it is a really good way for fast-growing, high-growth tech companies to go public. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.